I'm gonna show you how to use Paul Scholes as well as compare his base legend card to his iconic moment card. Let's go. What's going on guys? Shark Gaming here back with another player review and on this channel I do PES 2020 mobile gameplay, player reviews, pack openings and manager reviews so please subscribe. As we all know I'm reviewing Paul Scholes. We all know that Paul Scholes played for Manchester United the entire like his entire career and he started playing for them when he was 16 I think he got his full season in 1994 so that's three years after so call it when he was 18 19 Paul Scholes now is actually one of the most complete midfielders in the world and a lot of legends in the past have said that they have enjoyed playing against Paul Scholes and have enjoyed playing with him because he's the most complete central midfielder they've ever seen Throughout his entire Manchester United career, he scored 155 goals, I believe, with a lot of assists. And we've seen that some of his goals are some absolute rockets and some crucial goals that Manchester United needed to progress to the other um, round of a competition or maybe to secure three points in a league match, you know. But yes, Paul Scholes is actually one of my favorite players of all times because he's very versatile. I use Paul Scholes for every single thing on the pitch. Like, there's no joke about it. I use Paul Scholes for every single thing on the pitch. As we look at his stats right here, you can you guys can basically see that he's not the tallest. He's 170 centimeters. So, you know, he's not even six foot. So, he's not even that tall. But at the end of the day, he can still head ball properly. I've actually been using him to head the ball in like my set pieces. It's either him or Lampard. And usually, I like to use people with set pieces that are like 90s but his set piece is about 80 something and it still scores i'm going to show you guys the right stats later on but yes he's right footed but he can basically use either foot that he wants to use and trust me guys he's really really good position based or like you can use any type of build up obviously when he just comes he's a position based player so what you have to do you have to play with him to really increase his rank and his familiarity with the side so that he can give you the best results so make sure you play him in your counter-attacking formation if you're a counter-attacking, like if you prefer counter-attacking uh, formations like what I do. I like to play with counter-attacking formations, that's just me. As we look here, his offensive awareness is actually 88. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, all of those lovely stuff, they're all green and blue. They're just perfect stats. I don't even really look at them because I know that his stats are really, really good. I know that he can pass the ball really, really well. I know that he can take a shot really really well he can do knuckle shot well he cannot do dipping shot but he can do pinpoint crossing he can do one touch pass he can do weighted pass he can do low lofted pass and he has the fighting spirit as well as the long range shooting and the heading trait so as i said earlier even though his set piece for headers is really you know in the 80s you guys can still take uh head headers with him or put him in your set pieces he will still score but at the same time i like to use him for the set pieces itself so i like to use him to take free kicks i like to use him to take penalties i like to use him to take long free kicks or short free kicks i like to use him to take corners especially especially on the left side i like to use pulse goals on the left side even though it's just 93 right here he's really really good and very effective on taking corners i've scored a lot of corners that he has been the one that really has delivered the shots or delivered you know the cross itself he's really really good and as i can show you guys right here paul scores uh set piece is only 85 but he has he has um the heading trade so i guess that's what works for him so i'm just going to i'm just going to show you guys the legend version of him as well so as we can see here we can see a legend uh card and stuff it's not really it's not a max out card but i've actually tested him out because what I, my theory is that if i can use a card that isn't maxed and do wonderful things with it and imagine what i can do with a max card so these stats aren't really as pretty as the iconic moment stats as you guys saw earlier but it's still pretty effective i can use this card or the iconic moment card it's just that the iconic moment card has a higher chance of taking better shots higher chance of scoring higher chance of getting more shots on target higher chance of beating the keeper but this card is just as effective I know that most persons prefer the Icon Moment card, of course, but not everybody gets the Icon Moment card. So if you didn't get the Icon Moment card, don't worry. There's not really much to worry about. Paul Scholes is available for everybody, as in the Legend card. You can use him. It's just as good as the Icon Moment card. It's just that the Icon Moment card stats are just a little bit better, which is quite expected because one, it's an Icon Moment card, and two, it has the um the club boost. So when you use the club boost, oh dear, most of his stats go by at least three. So 
as it relates to like his curl, his curl goes up by one, his heading goes up by one from 81 to 82, his aggression goes up by five from 83 to 88, his kicking power is still 99, so that's why I said that he's very, very effective. His ball control goes up by five from 88 to 93, his dribbling, dribbling goes up by two from 84 to 86, and his side position goes up from 85 to 89. So all in all, his lofted passing is 99. So I, th I think you guys should really capitalize on that one. His lofted passes is really, really good. So I think you guys, like for the persons who like to play with formations that have like long passes, not saying long ball spamming, but long passes, you guys can use him to do your lofted passes. So basically what I've realized is that how to really shoot with him. Anytime you get the ball at the top of the box, that's the right area for power scores. Power scores is always the guy top of the box. Just take a reasonably good amount of power and more than likely he's going to score Paul scores can also be put into place because he's an orchestrator and as an orchestrator what he likes to do is that he likes to sit deep and send the ball forward so that's why his lofted passing is 99 slash 98 98 for the base legend and 99 for the icon moment card so that's why his lofted pass is so good because he's a, he's a creative playmaker well he's an orchestrator but he can still be a creative playmaker as well because if you put him in the attacking mid forward role that's what that's the role that he's going to play thing is the reason why i say he's so versatile is because if i am playing in a side and i need power schools to be a defensive mid a center mid attacking mid a second striker or a left mid power schools can do it all i don't care which position i want to put power schools in he's going to you know do it obviously i'm not going to put him in strike or right wing or left wing you know possibly i could put him in second striker but apart from that i can even put pass goals in left back or center back if needed he's not the tallest but he can he's very effective he's very aggressive he can you know get the ball and stuff so that's where i can really use him but i've realized that his finishing really isn't all that good but once you know to take shots with him it's going to score i usually score with shots that are like across the goal when i say across the goal i mean they're far post not really near post near post shots usually they look like they're going in but they don't really go in because at the end of the day he doesn't really have like one time shots or curlers or this that nah so him really he have to use up the power so just use up your power shots him but i usually go power shots at the far post i don't go power shots at the near post unless it's outside of the box outside of the box i can't do either one outside of the box once it's off um once it's a it's a hard shot you can use it and if you guys want to know how to score with like corners just use my corner tutorial trust me you guys are gonna like it my corner tutorials are really really good you guys can just check it out it's in my tutorial playlist i don't really know if you guys are gonna see it in the video but maybe it'll be linked above if it is just click on it and it's as simple as that so basically i hope that this review was really really good for you guys you know i hope that i explained every single thing about this card and that you guys realize that the base legend card is just as good as the icon moment card it's just that if you have the icon moment card then you know you have like you know you have a certain privilege of a card that yo you know is almost as good as these cards more than likely the shots taken from the icon moment card will you know score versus the base legend card but it's just as effective but yes i hope that i explained that well the coming keyword for today is uh let's go with skulls so anybody who types in skulls i know that you guys reached this far in the video thanks for even watching the video for this far subscribe for more content like this i'm out